which is better relative layout or a constraint layout now with android i used to use relative layout in the past i used it for everything i never really used linear layouts i always used relative layout i always nested them and um, in the end it was always faster more more performance and i and it just made more sense to use relative layout for pretty much everything now the table is turned now it's all constraint layout everyone's using constraint layout and i'm going to put in what's better relative layout or constraint layout now for the design if you're looking at just the design view drag and drop constraint layout wins 100 percent there because constraint layout i think is mainly it was mainly created for the performance and also the design um um, uh, pretty much because you have these dots and you can pin them uh, vertical and horizontal to the screen and other views and that's what makes it really powerful for design because you can just drag and drop and do the design so constraint layout wins in the design field for the code field to relative layout um, i think that that wins 100 percent because it's a lot easier to pin them to the top bottom left and right for any reason constraint layout has a lot more um, fields and more um, functions I, I guess you would call them to change the where it's going to be put at and now for you know complexity and everything for the code uh, for like nesting um, uh, so having one layouts for everything can you do everything in one layout? So one relative layout or one constraint layout? And I think, so I've done this on my many tests in the past and I've used relative layout all the time. And I think that for constraint layout, you use a lot less nested classes to create what you want. Um, for relative layout, if you need something like a linear layout, you can create that with, a, with another nested relative layout. But for constraints, you don't really need another nested layout. You can just pin them to left and right. And it's, it's just a lot easier for constraint layouts. So if you're only using one layout, no nested layouts, constraint layout is the way. And in the end, it matters for you. Um, I think for the design and only having one layout, it beats it. But if you like to code in XML and you're worrying about productivity, um, and you like the coding for the coding, I think relative layout, but for, for productivity, I think constraint layout beats it all.